Real Truth Daily. This is Daily Truths with Dave Alden. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Truths. Yesterday, we talked about Jesus walking all the way from Capernaum all the way down to Nazareth. And when he got to Nazareth, this is what it says. And when Jesus had finished these parables, he went away from there and coming to his hometown of Nazareth, he taught them in their synagogue. Now, I wonder what he taught them. Undoubtedly, he talked about the coming of the kingdom of God, the reign and rule of the Messiah. And as you know, at one time when he was in Nazareth, he identified himself as the Messiah and they wanted to kill him, right? So he probably was proclaiming the things of God. Now, when you go to church today, what do you hear? You hear about the things of God. Hopefully, if, if it's a conservative church, if it's a biblically based church, you hear about the word of God. You hear about the things of God. Specifically, you probably hear about both the law and the gospel. Now, what does the law do? The law convicts us of sin and shows us how to live as a result of what Christ has done. The gospel is God's good news for us in Jesus Christ. Let me give you an illustration of how we sometimes just kind of dismiss the law and do what we want, but then come to a realization, oh my goodness, I blew it. I need to repent and go back to the Father and receive the grace that only Jesus and the Father can give. I was at the CU football game. <laughs> last week. And of course, CU beat Nebraska pretty handily. And uh, you could tell that at the end of the game, near the end of the game, all these kids were going to rush the field. And, you know, two minutes before the end of the game, you know, what did the PA guy say? You are all prohibited from going onto the field. No one is allowed to go onto the field. All fans are prohibited from doing so. And then what happened? The end of the game comes and the guy says, all fans are prohibited from going onto the field. Thousands of kids just blew that off, totally ignored what that guy said, and jumped with joy on the field, totally dismissing <laughs> what the PA guy said. I, and then I thought, man, oh man, that's so much like us. God tells us through his law, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Love your neighbor as yourself. Keep me the number one priority in your life. Don't take my name in vain. Honor the Sabbath. Honor your parents. Don't kill, don't lie, don't steal, don't commit adultery, don't bear false witness, don't covet. All this different stuff, and what do we do? We just kind of blatantly dismiss it sometimes and do what we want. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh about that. It's not funny. We're broken vessels, aren't we? And sometimes we just ignore what God says. Now, here's the difference. What if at that game, some of the kids would have said, oh my goodness, what am I doing? I'm not supposed to be down here. And it's funny, there were police officers all around and they, you know, they didn't try to stop anybody. I think they were there just to kind of, hey, let people know, hey, hey, you shouldn't be running on the field. But what if some of the kids would have said, we shouldn't be doing this. We need to get back in the stands. Do you know what Christians do? When we are messing up, when we are sinning, do you know what we say? We shouldn't be doing this. I need to repent and get back in a right relationship with God. And so we repent, and we drown our sins in the blood of Christ, and we're restored into fellowship with God the Father. Because sometimes the word of God is proclaimed to us, and we just blatantly ignore it and do what we want. And we realize we shouldn't be doing that. You see, the Holy Spirit lives in us and convicts us of our sin and brings us to repentant attitude and restores us into fellowship with God by reaffirming our faith in Jesus. It's not, guys, it's not like, because we're under the state of grace, it's not like when we rebel against God and we do exactly what he says not to do. It's not like we're, you know, not saved, but we're out of sync and harmony with God's will for our life. And God's will for our life is revealed in the Ten Commandments. So when we run onto the field of life, if you will, blatantly dismissing what God says, we finally come to our senses and say, I messed up. I need to get back in the stands <laughs> of God's grace. Uh, affirm my love for the Lord Jesus Christ. Affirm my faith in what Christ has done and realize I don't want to stamp on the grace of God. I don't want to abuse his love for me. As a matter of fact, the book of Romans chapter six says, shall we go on sinning so that grace may increase by no means we died to sin. How can we live in it 
any longer. Living in sin means being on the field of, of sinfulness, if you will, and just continuing to do it and not having any remorse, any regret, any repentance, and just continuing to do what we're doing. No, believers don't do that. We realize I shouldn't be on this field. I need to get off, <laughs> right? All right. I hope that helps to understand some stuff about the law and the gospel. And, uh, you know, I'm using a, a current day illustration of something. I had to laugh at all those kids. They were just dismissing what the PA guy said. We're going to celebrate. We're going to enjoy this. You know, this happens so rarely. I think it's going to happen more often, though, where we win. We have a new coach at CU. So anyway, that is today's Daily Truth. Have a great day in Jesus Christ. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Pastor Dave Allman is the pastor of Mount Hope Church in Boulder, Colorado. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.